What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Very sad day. Today marks the one year anniversary of Emmanuel Stewart's death, the Crunk Gym, legendary trainer, legendary commentator. Just Emmanuel Stewart did a lot for the sport of boxing. Um, from past era fighters to current fighters, he's worked with pretty much everybody from Julio Cesar Chavez, Miguel Cotto, Chad Dawson, Oscar De La Hoya. Um, he's worked with Thomas Hearns. The Klitschko's, Vladimir Klitschko's, Lennox Lewis, the list goes on and on. Yuri Orcus Gamboa, James Tony, Jermaine Taylor, Andy Lee, Adonis Superman Stevenson, who's recently been shaking up his division and looking really good. Um, it was just a big loss for the sport of boxing. Emmanuel Stewart, he's a recognizable face in the sport of boxing. He usually had um, just a lot of wisdom from being on this earth so long and all the experience from these different fighters. I mean, he's, he's training guys like Holyfield and also people like Gamboa. You know what I mean? Different weight divisions, different styles of fights and everything. So um, it's a true loss for the sport of boxing. I personally liked Emmanuel Stewart. A great guy. And again, just tons of wisdom. I think one of my favorite moments was in the Lennox Lewis versus Mike Tyson fight. For those of you guys that remember that fight, it was between the mid-rounds. Lennox Lewis was applying pressure, but he wasn't doing enough to really get Tyson out of there. It's like rounds four or five, in between one of those rounds, maybe six. And Emmanuel Stewart just went into vintage trainer mode where he 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 was like the trainers that when you watch a Rocky movie, like yeah, bomb rock, like where they have to they have to really inspire. And motivate their fighter to do great things. And I think, truthfully, Emmanuel Stewart did that. He was very um, impartial in his advice. He was saying something um, like, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? You got a dead man in front of you. You're going to fuck around and let him catch you with some shit. And he was, he was yelling at Lennox Lewis. I don't remember if he slapped him, but... He was amped up. He was like, what the fuck are you doing? You got to shoot. You're doing this little pity pass shit. You got to shoot that. He's going to come back and hit you. He's a dangerous man. He was he was just really on Lennox Lewis tough. And then Lennox Lewis ended up stopping Tyson. So um, obviously you can't say the trainer did it single-handedly. But at the same time, I think Emmanuel Stewart gave Lennox Lewis great direction. He's like, he said Tyson wants to quit. He doesn't want to be there. You're going to fuck around and, and get caught. He's something. He's a dangerous fighter. So just just great trainer. I miss the trainers like that, those throwback trainers that really um, pump their fighter up and let them know what's at stake. Like if they're winning, if they're losing, hey, you're winning, but don't, don't get too dangerous. Actually, I want to give a shout out to Joel Diaz because he's an underrated trainer. In the Ruslan Provotnikov fight, he had Timothy Bradley fighting a dumb fight. He's obviously fighting with the chip on his shoulder, and he was spraying Timothy Bradley with the water. Like, what the fuck are you doing, Tim? Like, he was he was pissed, and I love to see that from the trainer because you got to shoot your, your fighter straight. You got to let them know the dangers of fighting the style that they're doing or whatever they're doing wrong and correct those mistakes. And also in the Marquez fight, Joel Diaz, um, he was like, this guy's going to come after you. He's going to throw everything but the kitchen sink at you, so... Just remain tough and, and fight like a champion. He's going to bring it in this last round. So props to Joel Diaz for having that kind of throwback instinct. I love Nacho Bearstein as a trainer. Definitely a Hall of Famer. Great trainer. But his work with Marquez in the Bradley fight, I didn't really like what he was saying to Marquez in the corner. They were like, he's like, Juan, Juan, you're winning the fight. You're winning. Just keep going. You're winning. I'm like, no, you're not. I don't know why he was misleading Marquez like that. But... Back to Manuel Stewart, just a hell of a fighter, a hell of a loss to the sport of boxing. Leave a comment, let me know your favorite Manuel Stewart moment, um, and just pay your respects to a true boxing connoisseur, and that's really all I gotta say, guys. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video's Ego, signing off.